Well, she may not be the betting favorite here tonight, but there are a lot of people out there that believe this number one Bantamweight contender is the best 135-pound fighter on the planet. And at long last, she gets a chance to prove. She has told us constantly, anytime you are within range of her voice, she will tell you, I'm the best, I'm the champ, give me an opportunity. She gets that opportunity. And she has lived this week as if she believes everything that she says. She has been sure, she has been confident, and that is all rooted in her preparation, which to everyone that knows has been tremendous. And both champion and challenger have a lot of skills, but this particular contender believes this is the best matchup for her in this top five. We'll see if she can dethrone the queen. Magna Jean Rayleigh, ready to battle and take home that elusive UFC goal. Well, when you're the champion, you cannot rest on your laurels, and she certainly has not done that. She has gotten better with every passing defense of this UFC Bantamweight Championship, and she's got another significant challenger in her wake tonight. She gets better every time she steps into the octagon. She understands the importance of defending this belt and defending it the right way. That's why she, she is such a long-reigning champion. She isn't a flash in the pan. She does not want to be here for the right now. She wants to be remembered. And in a division that had so many great champions in the past, she has to build a resume that can't be matched if she wants it to happen. She's done a lot of visualization, a lot of meditation, strategization, and she believes without a shadow of a doubt that she will leave once again as the champion tonight. Our tale of the date for this women's Bantamweight Championship fight. Now to get us started, the veteran voice of the Octagon, Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. <laughs> Championship of the world. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner, presenting the challenger, John Magnum Wiley. And now it is the champion, fighting out of the red corner, presenting the reigning, defending, undisputed UFC Women's Bantamweight Champion of the World, Alexa Rosa. Herb Dean, third no party in the octagon Ready. tonight. No. All right, so here we are, the MMA leader back in London, England. It's amazing to think back to UFC 75 when the UFC first came to the UK. Now you're talking about 25 shows in the United Kingdom, but few markets as rabid about mixed martial arts as London. And the moment you saw guys like Michael Bisping start to fight in the UFC, he seemed as though he was alone. Now there are many, a number of English fighters who dreamed of headlining this arena. All right, early round action here in Zhang Wei Li, not wasting any time finding a home for that right hand. A beautiful right hand. You know, we saw this in the Jessica Andrade fight, her title-winning performance, where she overwhelmed her with that shot that put her out. Zhang Wei Li is a tremendous athlete, and when she explodes into this punch, she is as good as they come. Takedown defense is there. Oh, big elbow. She doesn't 
doesn't need to throw with full force. She's certainly keeping her opponent at bay here tonight. Yeah, she doesn't wind up. She doesn't load up. She just kind of lets it fly. And she has multiple jabs. Where one is hard, one is short. She's such a high-level boxer that she can beat you up with just a jab. Well, 25 total strikes have landed for Alexa Grasso. Oh, perfect execution on the low kick. Just over three minutes now to go. She wanted out of that clinch and able to get out. One of her coaches, the captain, Eric Albadassin, has said Zhang Wei Li is the most gifted athlete he's ever coached, man or woman. Swing and a miss by Grasso. Great job landing the left hand. Just misses with a left hook there. Slip that one. Elbow there blocked by Grosso. Zhang's nose is bleeding now. Looks to be cut perhaps there on the bridge. Both fighters hanging down in the pocket and both landing. Oh my goodness, what a kick! She's going back to that patented straight right hand, unable to connect. Leg kick checked by Grosso. Oh, this is big. That's big. Oh, man, it's a big shot, too. My goodness, what a right hand. You need to take down now. Oh, nice kick. Oh, big left hook there. not miss there. This could be the end, DC. I mean, she hurt her so bad with that big head. I don't know how she stands. Opportunity, your opponent's back in the fight and can potentially wrap. Especially with this opponent. This opponent's so dangerous all the time. It does not matter that she hurt her before. She's gonna have to close the door if she gets her hurt again. Whoa! So you want to be a fighter. Back and forth we go between two of the best women in the world. 45 seconds to go here in round one. Man, one knee after the next by her tonight. She certainly got that part of her game working. It's such a damaging strike for her to land this many knees. It's insane. Oh, she landed a flush knee there, DC. Her opponent doesn't want to eat too many of those. You can see her opponent grimace because she felt that one. She really felt that knee. All right, so you see some welting now on the thigh a little bit as she continues to attack that area effectively. It's a big part of the leg, so it takes a little longer to really start to see the effects of what you're doing right now. She's landing, but down the line, boy. She stays the course, it'll pay dividends. Four seconds for the end of round one. All right, so there's the end of the round. Big story in this one now. The cut on the bridge of that nose from that strike. The cut man is in there. Should be able to shut this one and potentially prevent it from being a factor here moving forward. All right, so she's making her way back to the stool. Kind of shaking her head. Thought maybe that knockdown would have produced a finish. Not so much. She's a little discouraged right now because she thought the fight was over. But if you know her, if you spent any time with her, you understand that she's a smart fighter. And she will get right back to doing what she needs to do to win this fight. You ready to fight? Ready. Go. All right, here we go with round two. Oh, right hand lands again for Zhang Weili. Zhang Weili starting to feel it now, man. She's starting to get off of that right hand. She's throwing it more often now because she has found that she can land it at will. Oh, is that a huge strike right there, DC? Great shot landed. Now she's got to go chase her down and get another one off to finish the fight. Like the 
beginning of the end. Vicious combo there. Oh, my goodness. Ooh, nice slip there to avoid the punch by Grosser. Zhang's blocking pretty well now, so an adjustment made by the fighter to protect that already significantly damaged nose. And right into side control. Grosso's in half goal. Great job landing from the top position. Well, she is clearly dominating and winning this fight, largely with her striking. The book on her coming in was that she's a monster in the gym and hadn't really put it all together in the octagon until today. All of her coaches have talked about how special she was. And when it finally clicks, everyone's going to be impressed. Tonight, everything clicked, and you can see now that she has the ability to go real far in MMA. All right, so the ground and back. Just over three minutes to go now. Lands with the ground and pound here. Oh, what do we got here? Looks like an arm triangle attack. Oh, looks like she's got the arm triangle choke locked in tight. pressure on this choke, John. Good job by the champ there. Slide back up. All right, so the ladies make their way back to the feet. Nice job by her there, and the crowd is just lapping it up. Yeah, they're loving her willingness to fight to get back to her feet. What a strike by her there. I do not doubt her opponent still stands. She's still standing, but she's got to get on her bike, John. She's got to get out to the center of the octagon, find some space so that she can evade her opponent from finishing. Certainly picked up the pace here. In oh, nice right hand. She's hurt. She's getting up. Yep. No idea how these two women are standing. They are both landing massive shots. All right, so a storyline developing. You see a cut has been opened around her eye. She's got a cut on her eye. She's been getting hit in that same spot. The cut's nothing too big right now. But if she doesn't protect it, it'll get a lot worse. Elbow now blocked by Sean. Oh, that will be a headache in the morning. Massive uppercut. Maybe the best shot she's thrown. That'll do it. Holy smokes. All right, so she gets the flush knockout here tonight. And you got to think this is going to lead to a lot of big fights the rest of the way this year. Big opportunities are presented after you have a performance like this. She did an amazing job and got a massive knockout victory. The official decision is in. Here is the veteran voice, Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Dean's called a stop to this contest at three minutes, 47 seconds of round number two. We're playing the winner by knockout and still the undisputed UFC bantamweight champion of the world, Alexa Grasso. So the Guadalajaran gangster Alexa Grasso getting it done by knockout here tonight. And for a while, she was outpointing people, and pretty convincingly, nice to.